Well, no doubt you've seen pink everywhere for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And according to the CDC, about 240,000 women are diagnosed with the disease every year. But, you know, awareness is so much more than talk. It's action. It's about taking care of yourself and your loved one. And that begins with the information. It begins with screenings. So here to talk about the latest research, Dr. Savros Michaels with the OBGYN Center. Good morning. Thank Good you morning. for being Hi. here. Nice this is here. a critical time for us to remind women and men about those annual screenings. What is the recommendation? Let's just lay it out there. Who needs to get it done and how often? Yes. I think for the average risk patient, they need to be offered screening at age 40. Okay. okay? Um, and that's with a mammogram. Okay. Currently they have 2D mammograms out and now readily available in the valley are 3D mammograms too. That's mammogram with tomosynthesis mm -hmm. and that could increase the detection of very early cancers, especially in women with very de dense breast tissue. So would, it, would you recommend the 3D if it's possible for it to get? If it's possible and your insurance covers it mm -hmm. and it is readily available in the valley, I would recommend the 3D mammogram. Okay. So we're hearing more and more about the challenges of breast density. What is the mm -hmm. latest research about it and what do we need to know? Well, let's break down with breast tissue in general, okay? <laughs> breast tissue composes of four basic components. There's your milk ducts, your milk glands, supportive tissue, and then fat, okay? Mm -hmm. So the supportive tissue tends to look more dense on mammogram films and the fat looks more black, okay, or mm -hmm. non-dense. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about breast tissue, you're looking at the density of it, and they're looking at the ratio of non-dense tissue to the dense tissue. And then usually the radiologists come out with a classification um, on how dense the breast tissue is, okay? So you can range from mostly fatty tissue on your breast to extremely dense breast tissue. And with the extremely dense breast tissue, it becomes very difficult to see and detect cancers because everything looks white on the film. So that's why it's very important to know whether you have dense breast tissue or not. So then Dr. Michaels, when you receive that notification on your mammogram that says that you do have dense breast tissue, what then? You need to go talk to your healthcare provider and you need to talk about your other risk factors that could be involved. Do you have a family history of breast cancer? Um, do you have any genetic mutations such as BRCA1 or 2 mutations that could increase your risk for breast cancer? Um, and extremely dense breast tissue can increase that risk also. So they may offer supplemental screening such as ultrasounds or MRIs. So you'd ha it's really important to do the follow-ups if your yes. doctor guides you to do yes. that. You do that at the uh, OBGYN center? Yes, absolutely. We're you know here to help patients and uh, we usually offer the mammograms first. Again, we assess the risks that they have um, that we just discussed and if needed, we do supplemental um, imaging along with the mammogram. So it's a whole puzzle. It's yeah. a whole puzzle. You got to look at the big picture. Yeah. Good, great information. Hopefully everybody at home is listening and is able to get in and get that mammogram. Now's the time. Mm -hmm. Not too yeah. late. Thank you so much, Dr. Michaels. Awesome. We appreciate your expertise you. and your time this morning. Thank you.